Hello and welcome to LearningEngineer.com where we engineer learning for efficiency. My name is Michael Langdon and what you just saw there was a little piece of animation that I created as it states here using type JS and buzz JS. Although as it points out you need to use my type JS file uh, because it's been modified slightly from the original so it is of course free and available for you to use. So right now what we are is we're at practiceengineer.com txtanmt dot html text animation or text animate dot html and so what we want to do is we want to first start by right clicking on the web page here and clicking on view page source which is right here and as you can see we are using uh, some jQuery then my type js file then the buzz library which is right here and then finally I'm using the font the Google font special elite which is what looks is that typewriter style font and then what we the first thing we do is we come to our script right here and we have our function and the function is basically the my sound and it's loading typewriter mp3 I got typewriter mp3 from freesound.org and then we load it, and of course we're, we're going to start to play it right away. Okay, so this is the typewriter sound. And we need it to loop because it's not very long, it's only like 8 seconds. And then we need to load the carriage return, or to establish the carriage return, and then to load it. This right here allows us to mute the sound of the typewriter, because sometimes it can be, you know, I've heard it a million times by now. So I just kind of built that in there for my own thing. But it is there, and you can take a look at how that would work. So that's our sound, and then below that we have our typing from the TypeJS website. And the way this works is you have your string. Now this is what it's going to type out, all of this right here. And what separates each line is this caret, and then the amount of time you want to pass. Okay, I have it always set at a thousand because that gives you the full carriage return sound. Then after the 1000, I have a forward slash and an N, and part of that is because if you look down here at the content type, it is HTML, so we can use HTML in this. And the N is our line break, so this is gonna break the line. Now if I were to divide these strings up into a string with in quotation marks, separated by commas, it would back and erase, it would go back and erase stuff. But since we're trying to mimic a typewriter, I don't want it to do that. And so that's what all these like caret 1000s are, all the forward slash ends are carriage returns, so that's what's gonna do. And in fact, if we look down here, so then, I'm sorry, we're gonna look down here further, we have the content type HTML. The type speed is 100, so this is how fast each letter gets typed. What I found is that if you do it a little faster than that, or a little slower than that, it doesn't look quite right, but you can always look at that. Then there's a loop, like if you wanted to repeat text over and over again, you could do that. What is I had to add to the original TypeJS is the restart play, and I think it was the reset callback function. There was already a callback function there. And what I did is I simply went to that callback portion of the TypeJS file and I added that when it found a caret return that's when it would play, well, when it would bounce back and so it would stop the typewriter from playing that's this here and then it would play the carriage return okay here so once the carriage return is played then it's going to stop the carriage return and it's going to play the sound, the typing sound again Okay, and then the reset callback function is basically, this denotes the end of this text string, and that just stops all the sound. Down here, all this stuff basically pertains to uh, the typing animation, the actual letters being put on to the thing. I simply copied this from TypeJS examples. I really haven't looked at it at all. Um, 
this is basically for the terminal so when you see the typing going on and then finally we have the the text animate CSS style sheet down here at text animate CSS and that basically gives us that paper look that typed on paper look and then the body ID is typers there's a divider class called typed type there's a span called typed and there's a style called white space pre and basically that all goes together you need all of that so if you were to just simply copy everything that I have over to you the big thing that you would want to change is whatever is in here to whatever you want it to be okay and as you can see here I even have links that you could click on in the page so that's all you really need to know so remember that you need to copy over my special type JS file and then the rest you can just copy uh, right straight from the feed sites so that's what we're looking at so my name is Michael Langdon and goodbye from learningengineer.org where we engineer learning for efficiency